Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. Um, I'm standing in on the mud flat, um, just um, just to the uh, east of um, Hopewell Rocks in uh, New Brunswick, Canada. And in this part of the Bay of Fundy, the tides can reach up to 50 feet and over. And um, that's my path to get where I am right now. So the mud is uh, almost up to my knees in some places, but I found by walking along the uh, small um, stream of water here, the mud is a bit more packed down. If I stepped over here, it would be certainly up to my knees or anywhere over here. So I have to stay on this kind of little, little uh, creek here. And all of this, of course, is uh, underwater at high tide. It's about uh, 2.30 p.m. local time. And the low tide was at uh, just about 12 o'clock or so. So um, in another uh, 45 minutes or so, the rate of rise of water um, will be maximized. And I think it's about a foot the water rises about a foot every 10 minutes, something like that. You can do the math. Um, the tide goes, it's uh, not a diurnal cycle or, or a, a um, the, t the tide goes out and comes in, uh, goes out and comes in in one day. It's, there's the four parts of the cycle. Uh, so it's every six hours. It goes, in six hours, it'll go from low tide to high tide and I think at this location the difference is about is about uh, 35 40 feet or something um, this time of year you know today anyway um, and that depends on the lunar cycles etc but there's parts of the Bay of Fundy where it's over 50 feet you know 52 53 feet something like that that's like a 14 meter uh, change so pretty isolated here I've got lots of time to walk back and because there's no stairs here, but I, th I think you could scale over there if you had to, you know, if you got stuck down here when the tide uh, was coming in. Um, anyway, it's gorgeous here. It's beautiful. Probably all kinds of uh, things living in the mud here. Okay, bye for now.